This is video of the Doppler radar over Metro Vancouver on Sunday afternoon. And the reason we're looking at this today is because meteorologists are having a look at whether we had a possible tornado sighting here in Metro Vancouver. Uh, News 1130 meteorologist Michael Coos is uh, looking into this as well as being the microphone holder today. So nice job. Yeah, you're making me do the heavy work here. So explain to Michael what happened here. What's going on when we look at this radar? Okay, uh, what we're looking at here is uh, lots of activity, really unsettled conditions. Now that started on Friday when we have those heavy flooding downpours in Maple Ridge still active through the weekend all the way into Sunday. Now with the radar you can see some of these really strong cells developing. I'm watching this wave here. That's the one that potentially produced the tornado in the mission area. So explain this tornado. I mean this was in terms of how strong these things get. Um, this was called an F0. Yeah, F0 is as weak as they come, but still oh, okay. dangerous, <laughs> still dangerous, right. 64 kilometers per hour to wind speeds at the surface to 115, 16 kilometers per hour. So winds like that can definitely still do some damage. Not likely life threatening, but uh, definitely can tear off some shingles. OK, so talk about this uh, image that we're also that's some important to the, the puzzle when it comes to what happened on Sunday. Yeah, this is crucial. After the Environment Canada meteorologist got the reports of the possible touchdown tornado and saw the video evidence, then they go to the radial velocity. This comes from the Doppler imagery, and this shows uh, winds moving in different directions in the clouds. The red arrow uh, pointing to the north, the blue arrow pointing to the south. That indicates the rotation of the winds within the cloud, and without that, we don't even have the possibility of a tornado. Okay, and we've had tornadoes in BC before, right? Especially in this, uh, in, in the lower mainland, in this section. Yeah, they're not super common, uh, but we have had a couple of F-Zero tornadoes. You have to go all the way back to 1991 to find the last one. So it's not that common, but when they do happen, they are of the weaker variety. And are there any concerns about, like, could this be linked to climate change or anything else going on with the atmosphere? Uh, well, when we see stuff so localized like this, you can't pinpoint that on climate change specifically. All right. That's the short answer. Michael, thank you very much. No problem.